Hello all, welcome back to Real Home Making. Today I am here to share with you all a very very amazing recipe that is the Bailey recipe. Few days back I was craving to have some good Indian street food and I was searching over the internet uh, Indian street food recipes and then I came to know about the Bailey. Honestly telling, I have never heard the name of the Bailey and when I saw the recipe, I thought it is so easy to make and I can make it with all the stuff I have in hand. So, that day I tried the Bailey recipe with my own twist and I thought I will definitely share this recipe with my twist with you all. So, here is my version of the Bailey. I hope you enjoy. So, let's begin with this recipe. The only thing that you need to have ready in your kitchen at that particular time are some boiled potatoes, some pomegranate seeds and some burger buns. Here I am taking the sesame burger buns because I really like the taste of them. You can also use the plain ones. So let's start by prepping some veggies. Here I have taken one and a half piece of a big onion and just slicing it down finely. This dish is a perfect blend of all the spices, tangy flavor and a lot of crunch in it. So please do try out this recipe. Here I have taken a handful of coriander leaves too and just chopping it down. Now in a pan adding a handful of peanuts and uh, we'll be dry roasting it on a low medium flame. In about 4 to 5 minutes you will see that the oil has started oozing out onto the peanuts and that's the time you have to turn off the flame and your peanuts are roasted. Let it cool down. Now in the same pan adding just a teaspoon of ghee and to it adding the chopped onions. To this adding some salt so that the onions get cooked fast and some spices like a pinch of turmeric powder, red chilli powder, half teaspoon and some chana masala. As I don't have the original dabeli masala so I am just using the chana masala. It gives a very nice flavor to this dish. Just try it out. Now cook everything well. Adding just a tiny bit of water so that the masala doesn't burn and get cooked evenly. In the meantime the peanuts are now cooled down so just crushing them down coarsely with the help of this chopper. Onions are now well cooked, so adding one and a half mashed potato to this. And mixing it thoroughly. The bigger pieces of uh, potato can be crushed down while cooking. Now adding just a tiny bit of water again so that everything gets cooked evenly. Once it is all cooked, garnishing it with some coriander leaves and adding 1 teaspoon tamarind chutney to this. If you don't have this tamarind chutney, you can also add tamarind pulp. It gives a very nice tangy flavor to the dish. Now to add some crunch to the dish, I am adding here the crushed peanuts and mixing it all together and uh, with this the filling is ready and just take it out in a bowl and keep it aside. Now adding some pomegranate seeds to the filling and mixing it again. Here I have some chopped onions and to this I am adding this Haldiram's plain bhujia for giving extra crunch to this dish. Now 
now let's start assembling the bun so on one side of the bun i am putting the green coriander chutney the recipe of which is already there on the channel i shall leave the link in the description and also on the i card above and on the other side i am putting some tamarind chutney you can also put some tomato ketchup or garlic chutney if you don't have tamarind one now the first layer of uh, the chopped onions and some haldiram's plain bhujia goes into the bun and now putting the generous amount of filling that we just made So yeah that's how easy it is now my bun is ready to be cooked and here i have heated up a tawa and to it adding just a tiny bit of ghee you can also use butter if you like to now putting my buns onto it and just adding a tiny bit of ghee on the top layer as well in about 2 minutes it will be cooked from one side on a low medium flame and then just turn it over so that it gets cooked from the other side So in about two minutes, it is again cooked from the top side, and it is ready to be enjoyed. Serve it with a ketchup of your choice. So friends, just like you have seen, it is very simple. It is easy to make. 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 It is easy सो या आई होप यू रियली इन्जॉयड वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो अगर आपने इन्जॉय किया है अगर आपको हेल्पफुल लगी है तो प्लीज इस वीडियो को लाइक करें जितने आप लाइक्स करते हैं उससे मुझे मोटिवेशन मिलती है अपनी नेक्स्ट वीडियोस के लिए तो प्लीज इस वीडियो को लाइक जरूर करिएगा और शेयर करिएगा शेयर करने से प्यार बढ़ता है और नॉलेज भी बढ़ती है तो मेरी वीडियोज को आप शेयर करना बिल्कुल ना भूलना एंड प्लीज कंसिडर सब्सक्राइबिंग आई सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम चिल्ड्रेन टेक केयर बाय